going to keep this super short for you all. And really my goal tonight is to just give you the lowdown on like what hot and happy AF is. I mean, who wants to be hot and happy AF? Mm -hmm. like, show of hands, anybody? Yeah. Anyone? yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. So like I just want to share with you what I feel hot and happy AF actually means, right? Um, and then I'm going to just show you what I came up with. And truthfully, what this is, what this has culminated from is that I've been spending a lot of time in the last uh, 12 months doing workshops and running retreats and doing group programs and doing one-on-ones with people. And like I've been doing that for the last 10 years pretty solidly, but the last 12 to 18 months, I've just really noticed a lot of patterns in how people are feeling. Um, and it is my mission, it is my absolute freaking obsession to help people let go of it because I really feel like since COVID, um, I don't know if anyone can relate to the concept of COVID kilos or a bit of, you know, like the anxiety and overwhelm and feeling the need to stay inside. Or, But since the last three years, there's just been, I think, a um, an overwhelming amount of um just not great things happening for people's mental health. If anyone here can relate with what I'm saying, like chuck a hand in the air, nod ahead, give me a thumbs up if you're not on the screen, just let me know, you know, and throughout this, feel free to chuck stuff in the chat because, you know, I am a real person and if I see stuff, I'll answer questions as I go. But what I want to do is I just want to get through super quick. I've created a really super quick um, slides just so that I don't forget what I want to show you. We're not going to go through a 65-page PowerPoint presentation. This is literally just for me to show you what it is. It's either going to be something you're going to be at the end of this, full fuck yes, I want to do it, I'm in, or it's not going to be for you, and that's cool, okay? So there is no hard pressure sell. There's nothing. It's just I'm going to tell you what it is, I'm going to show you how it works, and then you guys can decide if it's a fit. Is that okay with you guys? Yeah. Yep. And at the end, I'm going to say, hey, if this is a good fit, come and hang out with me. If it's not, all cool. Just for turning up today, everybody's going to get a cool freebie. So that's just as a massive thank you because I appreciate that your time is valuable. And my goal is to get this done and dusted within sort of like 20 to 30 minutes. Um, anything longer than that is going to be because you guys are asking questions. Um, so, yeah, that's that's pretty much it. But if you guys stay on for me to explain this whole thing, um, I will be giving you a, a code at the end of this whereby you are going to get a super cool um, super cool present that's worth getting um, that other people are paying over 100 bucks for. Sound good? Yeah. Let's see if Sammy can work out the awesome tech because I think I got it sorted. Let's go. Okay. So this is called the Hot and Happy AF Mind Body Challenge, all right? And it is exactly that. Now, I just want to say something about what hot and happy AF is and what it's not. This, I can tell you right now, what it is not, this is not all about weight loss. This is not all about dieting. This is not all about exercising, although all of that stuff may take part throughout this process. What this is about is that I want you guys rocking into Christmas time, feeling fucking hot and feeling awesome in your skin and feeling like excited about the Christmas break, right? Because most of us go into Christmas and we know that we're going to be drinking and we're going to be eating and we're going to be doing all these things. But my goal is to get you going in there feeling really good about where you're at, right? Now, like no matter where you're at physically, like when I read those surveys, there's just something I want to bring to everybody's attention, okay? Firstly, I feel you, I get it, I understand, okay, because when I read all of those surveys, um, the amount of people that said, I've never been happy with how I look, um, I haven't been happy for, you know, three to five years or at least one to three years, um, I uh, when, it, when we talked about how much weight there was people that, you know, a really good proportion of people that want to lose 10 to 20 kilos, many wanted to lose at least 10. But as women, right, and men, like men, you guys, Nick, sorry, buddy, you get kind of like unrepresented. Men are just as unhappy, okay? But the simple fact is this, like being hot isn't just about your physicality. It's 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 a way of being and how you feel is going to determine what you do. If you don't feel good, you're going to run around and eat shitloads of food that doesn't serve you, which is then going to make you not feel good. You know, it'll give you a two seconds, like we talk about emotional eating. It's going to make you feel good for a sec and then it's going to make you feel shit for months to come okay so I really just want to go through and explain how I feel you need to go at this all right so hot and happy AF info session all right so my vision for this okay for hot and happy AF is to give you resources and tools to transform your mind and your body okay it's to help you let go of limiting beliefs and stories 
It's to help you get clarity on what happened. Ha bleh, 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 bleh. What hot and happy AF is. It's to help you create some healthy habits that are sustainable, both in your mind, your body, and your spirit, your soul. And it's to give you a connection to tribe, which is also going to help with accountability. Okay. All right. Now, I don't know if anybody can relate to this page, okay? When we talk about feeling good, right, oh, or, or exercising or eating good food, oh, I'm too busy, oh, I don't have the energy, or I'm not motivated, but I hate vegetables and I really love carbs. We just create, like, all these obstacles. We make it so hard for us to get where we want to go because we're constantly looking at all the reasons why we can't, Yeah. Endless reasons. I'm, you know, I have no time. It never works. I've tried everything. I hate exercise. I don't want to. I'm not a gym person. I love this one. I'm big boned. I used to totally own that one, right? And the thing is, guys, if you fight for your limitations, you get to keep them, right? All of these things in these slides that I'm showing you right now, they're all fucking stories. And the list goes on, right? You procrastinate. You have self-doubt. You know, oh, I'll start my diet tomorrow. I'll start my training tomorrow. I'll set the alarm. Oh, I'll, I'll just snooze just for 10 minutes. Oh, just another 10 minutes. Oh, maybe I'll, I'll just I'll just watch this movie first. Oh, I'll just watch Netflix. Oh, there's, I'll just watch one more episode before I go to sleep. All right. So I'm sure, like, can anybody relate to the stuff I'm talking about? You know, when you see these things like, you know, I want you to go ahead and chuck in the chat. Are any of the things that I've just listed on these last three pages you? And if procrastinator do you say I've got no energy do you say I'm too tired do you say I I don't have time do you say I'm too busy I'm not an exercising person I don't I don't feel like it um you know oh but I've got to do this and I've got to do that and I've got to do this and I've got to do that and so oh and you have to say yes to everybody else's needs so then what it means is you say no to yourself so go ahead I'll come back and have a look in a sec and I want to have a see what you guys are all talking about. In fact, I'm going to stop sharing now. I want to see what you're saying now. Okay. Yep, most of it. Procrastinate. Yes, yes, me at the moment. All of it. All of it. Yep, procrastinate. Okay, guys, like you're not alone, right? Every single person who has ever wanted to feel good about themselves has gone through what we are just talking about just there, okay? But those things just there, they are all stories, okay? And the thing is that, you can either keep those stories or you can make an executive decision that you want to rewrite those stories. Now, you would all have to be living under a rock. Oh. You, so, hang on now, I don't have to move my screen. Oh, here we go. And on and on and on. Yeah, like and on and on and on. We we all we all kind of get the general gist. All right. So it's okay, babe. I got you. This is your time. And I'm going to have you walking tall, feeling hot and living your best life. Who he wants to do that, like who he would like to be walking tall, feeling hot, living their best life. Yeah, awesome. Okay. So here is what it looks like. I don't know what you can see at the top. Can you see? I don't know if you can see that nonsense at the top of the screen. Does that go away? Hang on. Sorry, I don't know. The thing seems to be covering the top of my screen, but basically what it is, okay, is that it is eight weeks, so it takes us right up to Christmas, 12 sessions we're going to do over that eight weeks and over those sessions they're going to be like basically we're going to run through a lot of different stuff but we're going to create magic morning rituals right we're going to actually create things that you guys can stick to because I don't know if you realize but how you start the day is how you finish the day so if you start the day pressing snooze and then pressing snooze and then pressing snooze and then you have a you know a shitty breakfast or you have a coffee for breakfast uh, and you put yourself into high cortisol, like if you start your day like that, you don't end your day well. So what we've got to do is we've got to start creating some magic morning rituals that serve you, that are going to be simple and that you can stay connected to. Time creation, right? I'm going to show you how to actually maximise your time because the thing is that we often run around busy but we're not productive and we've got to let go of that, okay? You've got to learn the magic of no. You're going to learn how to start saying no. In fact, no is going to become your favourite word to say and you're not going to feel guilty about it because what you're going to learn is the magic of saying no to everybody else means you're actually saying yes to yourself and that's the most important thing that you need to learn. Constructing your hot and happy AF avatar, right? You've got to actually have an identity like she slash he 
is a person. So we've got to like create a superhero, which is your hot and happy AF avatar that you can actually see and feel and touch and taste and is actually the version of you because that version that you can see, right, between now and the end of Christmas, the amount of kilos you can lose is going to depend on, like, I don't talk a lot about weight loss, but let's face it, everybody wants to lose some. But the reality is this, I can have you feeling fucking awesome by Christmas. The amount of kilos you lose is going to be a combination of several things, which I'll come to in a second. But I can guarantee you, no matter how much weight you lose by Christmas, you will continue to lose weight because your mindset will be changed and it will be changed forever. Okay. P, 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 P. The proper preparation and planning prevents piss poor performance. Those of you that have worked with me before know a little bit about the P, 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 P. This is the number one reason people fail when they are trying to create a, like a, a, a plan for a change, right? They don't put the plans in place. They don't prepare themselves. They find themselves in a car where there's no good food and then they're hungry and then they get hangry and then they buy their kids some shit food because the kid's being a shit bag and then they buy themselves some shit food. And if they don't have a kid, they just buy themselves shit food because they're being cranky. All of this can be resolved super duper freaking easy. And by the way, I'm not a chef. I hate cooking. I'm not a naturally organized person, but I'm incredibly good at creating a plan when I know why I want to do it, right? You're going to say goodbye to busy, hello, productive. You're going to learn KISS, which is keep it simple, stupid people. Or there was a better way of doing that where we didn't have to call ourselves stupid, but sorry, that's still locked in my brain from years of keep it simple, stupid, right? So we don't want to have this crazy ass plan. We've got to measure shit and you've got to do this at 2 a.m. and this at 4 p.m. No, it's got to be fucking simple. If it's not simple, it ain't happening. You've got to see it as done. You've got to see what you want, your outcome, and then we act as if. And I'm going to teach you some super cool processes where you literally can step into the version of yourself you want to be. You're going to see it, feel it, touch it, taste it, know it, and then your body and your mind and everything is going to start acting as if it's already happened. Your subconscious cannot tell the difference between whether it's happened or whether it's going to happen. You're going to learn how to breathe. Like I know it sounds fucking crazy because we're all sitting here, which means we're all actually breathing. But unless any of you have actually done some conscious breathing, no one breathes properly, right, which then causes you to have additional stress in your body, which causes you to be more anxious. If you're more anxious, your body's got more chemicals in your body. It won't release weight because it's constantly in a fight or flight. I know I'm talking super fast, but you're getting the general gist. You're going to learn how to breathe, baby, breathe. You're going to learn how to hydrate. Anyone who has a glass of water right now, have a drink. I needed the drink, sorry, and you all need to drink too. That is probably going to be one of the major things you're going to learn to do properly. You'll learn why. You're going to start with why. Everything we're going to do is going to come back to why. Why am I doing it? What is the outcome I'm after? What is the purpose? What is the mission? What is my vision, right? And then we're going to freaking celebrate. We're going to celebrate like it's 1999 because you have to celebrate your wins throughout the process, okay? So what it's going to look like, as I said, is it's eight weeks with 12 sessions. I'll explain a bit more in a sec. Okay. So what do you actually get, okay? Basically, this is what it's going to look like. We're going to create you an accountability roadmap. <clears throat> and what that actually looks like is first we're going to get clear on what you actually want, right? What does hot AF mean to you? Now, I've read all your surveys. I understand those results. We're going to dig deeper into that, you know. For some people, what hot AF might mean is that, you know, at Christmas they've got a party, a work party, they don't feel good about it and they want to be able to walk into that party feeling freaking sexy AF and feeling good about the choices that they make. For somebody else, it might be, you know, that they they want to know how to eat uh, at parties through the party season without feeling like they're missing out on stuff and but also without chucking on heaps of weight because, you know, like a lot of people seem to think that energy comes from food. But I want to tell you all a secret. In fact, here, I've got a question. How many of you, let me see if I can actually see, stop, stop sharing this for a second. Okay, I've got a question. Where do you think energy comes from? Go ahead and chuck it in the chat box. Where do you think energy comes from? Because I know you all have mentioned that you're tired, 
and you don't have the energy and you're not motivated. So where do you guys think energy comes from? There's no wrong answers. Like, you know, there's, I'm going to tell you the right answer, so don't stress. There's no, there's no shame. I just want to know what you all think. Food and exercise, yep, go for it. What else? That's what Sammy thinks. What does everyone else think? Mindset. Guys, what about the rest of you? Sleep and nutrition. Yeah. Well, why can't I find them? Or just speak. <laughs> Leave. You can't figure it out. All right. It's all good. Okay. So you guys are you guys are on to something. I used to always think energy came from food. It's right that food can give you some energy, right? You can you can certainly eat a sugary donut and it can give you a big spike of energy. But here's the thing about food, right? Who remembers Christmas days and you sit there at Christmas and you eat so much food and then by the middle of lunch or whatever, you're like in a freaking food coma and your tummy hurts and you need to go and have a big power nap to like, you know, sleep off the coma, right? Sleep off the food right? The number one thing that creates energy in our body is motion, right? So movement. So when we talk about having not enough energy to move, it's a bit of a catch-22 because the thing is that the movement is what gives us energy, but the mindset is what we have to master to make our body move when it doesn't want to move so we get the energy, right? So we have to overcome that part of us that goes, I don't want to, it's too hard. And I've got some tricks for that, okay? Because when you're really clear on why you want to do this thing, then what happens is not only is the why so big, right, but there is some sneaky little resources that we can use that are going to stop you in that moment and break that pattern of procrastination. So, like, just with a show of hands, how many people here reckon they procrastinate? Right, so everybody. Okay, and I'm just going to assume the people that aren't here on the screen with me, they probably procrastinate too. <laughs> oh, I've got hands coming up through the screen here. I love it. So so procrastination is a thing, okay? And procrastination comes from a couple of things. It comes from a fear of not being able to get the result we want, a bit of perfection, right? But it also comes from the lack of motivation. And the motivation comes from being tired and the tired comes from not moving, Right. If you ever needed any, who here has been super fit at any point in their life? Okay. At that point in your life, when you were super duper fit, did you have a lot of energy? Yes or no? Yeah, I rest my case. I probably don't know. You guys are clever people. You're already my people, so I know you guys know this stuff. All right, I'm going to go back to the screen. Cool. So what we're going to do is we're going to create an accountability roadmap and it's going to be personalized to you. And what that's going to look like is I'm going to give you like a 90 day plan and we, and it's a one page document. Guys, if it is any bigger than a one page document, you will not do it. It is too hard. It won't happen. I've got my own hand up in the air here and I don't know how to put it down. So I'm not trying to ask myself questions. <laughs> All right. We're going to have weekly sessions, coaching, teaching and hypnosis. So what that's going to look like is I'm going to do a combination of two different types of things. One is going to be a webinar format and one is going to be like a classroom format like this. The webinar format is going to be designed so that I can teach you something super sharp, super quick, 30 minutes, something that you can use, a resource, a tool, a process, something along the lines of all the things that I want to give you, okay? And it's really just a short, sharp burst for you. Then we're going to do hypnosis, okay? And I'm going to be doing tailored hypnosis sessions, some of which that are going to be created based on the content that you give me, some of which is just the stuff I know people need to get the results that they want. And basically, we're also going to then have classroom format like this. And that's going to be where you actually have the direct coaching with me. And so throughout those 12 sessions, basically, you're going to get um, eight sessions. Um, sorry, how did I work it out? It's going to be it's going to be kind of like 50 50 so but throughout throughout this the um the program this just so you guys all know okay it's my beta tester right you are my first people that I want to put through this program which is why I'm putting it together in the way that I have and it's why I'm doing it as cheap as I'm going to offer it to you in a couple of minutes 
because basically I'm going to be adding to this. This is the first time I've run this particular iteration of this program, okay? So we're going to create the accountability roadmap. You're going to have weekly sessions. Basically what it's going to look like is one week there'll be one session that has hypnosis and coaching. The next week there'll be a session of hypnosis and coaching and um, and a teaching session. So you're basically going to have like a, a session every week for the eight weeks and you'll have two on every second week, okay? You're going to get uh, an app which is going to have, which you'll have on your phone and it's going to have 90 days, um, you'll have 90 days of access to this app and it will not only have the hypnosis sessions that um, we do here in, in this program, which will be all specifically tailored to you, but I'm also going to give you um, complete access to my hypnosis library, um, which you're going to have access to for that 90 days as well. So there's a whole heap of other stuff in there as well, which I'm just going to give you um you know because you're awesome and i'm awesome and i'm and i want to all right um you're going to have access to a private facebook group now the idea of the private facebook group is that basically in that facebook group i want to provide a space where i can jump in and share a variety of things okay everything from recipes to training ideas to workouts to places to go also there's a lot of you as you can see that are on the coast and one of the things that I've noticed in the last 12 months of running my retreats is that the number one thing, like, you know, lucky my, um, I have a good sense of self, but the number one thing people seem to love about my retreats more than any of the fucking teaching I do, right, more than any of the fabulosity I bring is the people that they meet. So I'm okay with that. I just decided I need to facilitate more of that for you guys because all of the people that I attract, they're all like-minded. So you guys are all on the coast which means there is the opportunity for you to connect and be accountable and go on walks with each other. The girls from my last retreat have been going on walks with each other. So you know, I want I want community for you guys, which you will have access to for the 90 days so that you can stay connected with everybody. You're also going to get a gratitude journal. And the reason for this, so the gratitude journal, you will have to download it yourself, okay, but I've created this super cool um gratitude journal and the reason for it is so that you can basically write down all of the things that you're doing throughout this process okay journaling is probably one of the most important um, habits that you can create whilst you're starting a process like this because you can see what's working for you you can see where you're focusing your attention and when you go into a space of gratitude the simple fact is your gratitude um like changes where your focus is. So when you're focused on what you're feeling good about, when you're focused on the things that, um, you know, that you're grateful for, essentially two things happen. One, you get given more to be grateful for, okay? Um, and two, it changes your mindset. And who here agrees that they can have a habit of emotional eating? Yeah, okay. So if you're not feeling good, then chances are you're going to reach for something that's not going to serve you. You're going to overeat and so you're, or you're going to eat something that's not good, right? And so the idea of getting you to fill out this gratitude journal is basically if you're feeling good, then you don't have a need to go and shove food in your face to make you feel good, right? This entire eight weeks is designed around getting you to train your brain to focus on things that make you feel good because when you feel good, you don't go and find other ways to feel good, i.e. you don't feel the need to shove copious amounts of, you know, nonsense in your mouth. You don't feel the need to drink copious amounts of alcohol. You don't feel the need to binge watch Netflix for five or six episodes because you're numbing. Essentially, if you're feeling happy, you don't need to numb, right? So my goal is to get your guys, your minds, in a place where you're feeling happy and excited about life so that you then start moving your body, okay? All right, so at this point, I just want to ask, based on everything I've sort of said so far, has anybody got any questions about any of that so far? Everyone's good? Okay, cool. Cool. All right, so here is what it looks like because I know this is the bit everybody wants to know. Okay, so this is what it looks like, 12 weeks coaching and mentoring sessions. You've got your tailored hypnosis sessions. You've got your private Facebook groups. The coaching is valued at $1,800. The hypnosis is valued at $500. The Facebook group having connection to you lot is valued at $500, but plus we're going to be doing lives in there as well. If you enroll tonight, you're going to get it for $555. If you want to do three payments of $222, you can do that as well. 
And essentially why I've priced it at this, because most of you guys have worked with me before and you know what I charge, okay? I am going to be charging uh, 2K for this program, right? But you guys are my first people coming through. And essentially what I want to do is I want to basically bring on a group of people that I've worked with before and I know you're all going to get great results. I know you're all going to feel happy. And then I'm going to ask you all um, like this to please do a testimonial for me at the end of it, okay? And so from my standpoint, it's a win-win-win. Now, what it's basically going to look like for you guys is that you will, it will start. Um, at this point, the plan is to start. It is going to be on Thursday nights, okay, uh, at 7 p.m., now, having said that, right, that is the day that I've got set right now. Um, it was originally going to be Tuesday, but I had some problems with people. And and my goal is that I'm trying to find a time that everybody can do. So if there is people that really, if there's five people that really want to do it, that can't do it on that night, then I am open to changing it. Um, but at this point, that's, that's where it's going to start. It will be 7 p.m. on Thursdays, okay? Now, because I believe in working with people who take action, okay, here is two things that I'm offering. Anybody who books and enrolls in this program tonight and pays in full, I'm going to give you a coaching session with me, a one-on-one -on -one coaching session as well with me, okay? Now, a coaching session with me at the moment is $495. So I am basically going to be giving you this program for 60 bucks. okay? And again, the reason I'm doing this is because I'm motivated to A, get you guys the results that you want, and B, I want to work with people that are motivated, okay? I want to work with people that are really committed to roll, not rolling into uh, to Christmas, but like fucking running headfirst into Christmas, feeling excited about what they're doing and making good decisions, okay? And so while you just all just think about that for a couple of seconds, I want to just remind you of something and I, I thought about this just just before we came on I was like damn it I should have put that in because this this is so relevant for you guys if you want to go back and think about what hot and sexy and awesome looked like I don't know in Marilyn Monroe's days right she would be classified as fucking obese right now now I'm sorry but she's hot as fuck okay she's hot and sexy and beautiful Granted, you know, she had an interesting ending to life, but we won't go there. The simple fact is that, that that woman personified what hot and sexy was, right? And then you go into the 80s and we've got like, I don't know if it was the 80s, the Kate Mosses of the world, right? And Kate, you know, that was the era where everybody looked like Twiggy and they were tiny and they looked like they were starved, right? And then fast forward to now, we've got Kim Kardashian and we've got people getting butt implants, right? So like... You have to all make a decision about how you want to be defined. You want to make a decision about whether you're going to let the media define you and define what hot and happy looks like or whether you get to decide what that looks like, right? Because at the end of the day, it's really you that makes that decision. Now, yes, do I think we all need to move? Yes, I do. Do I think we need to eat well? Yes, I do. Do I think it needs to be hard? No, it doesn't. Okay, I have got nutritionists that I work with. I have got personal trainers. I have got an access to so many resources. But the thing that's actually really going to help you guys is not going to be all of that, which you're going to get. I will give you all of it. It's going to be the change in your mindset and it's going to be, excuse me, it's going to be the hypnosis that is going to teach your um two things it's going to calm your nervous system down right who here struggles at all ever with stress or anxiety okay so here's what happens if you guys have got any stress or anxiety going on your body is in this fight or flight response when your body is in a fight or flight response okay um, basically what happens is that uh, you hold on to, you've got cortisol going through your body, you've got adrenaline going through your body. Your body is in a state where it is constantly responding to the fact that it might be attacked. So your digestive system stops working properly, right? You Your body holds on to all weight because it goes, oh, my God, I don't, like, we, oh, I don't know when we're going to get to eat again. And, and, and if we don't eat again, then we might, oh, but this is no good. So, like, you hold everything. So I'm not just going to be working on your psychology around what you should be eating. 
if you want to eat chocolate, I'm going to teach you how to eat chocolate without stressing your body out. Because if you're eating chocolate and going, I shouldn't be doing this, I really shouldn't be doing this, oh, this is so bad that I'm doing this, you're injecting your body with not good shit, right? It's all about understanding that you've got to start treating your body with kindness and love and respect. Today, I would rather eat a bowl of yogurt with chocolate protein powder in it and frozen berries than I would over a bowl of ice cream. Right. I eat a bowl of ice cream. I feel sick in the tummy, like it hurts. And I used to love ice cream. So it's just, it's a change in your mindset. It's a change in how you feel. Sarah, can you go ahead? We will, you're going to get an email after here. Okay. But Sarah, can you go ahead and chuck in the chat box for everybody that link for anybody? So who here, who here wants to be hot and happy AF by Christmas? And who here thinks that they're going to jump on board and, and join us? All right. 